what is up guys welcome to the channel got an update for you today had a couple questions uh, that I thought it would be real good to hop on and uh, address for this week I do have a ton of information uh, that going through the process it, I'm gonna hopefully be able to convey to you today and if not then I ask that you please either comment below or send me a message and I will be more than happy uh, to help get you the information. What do we want to do the update on? Uh, mostly today, I uh, want to give you an update on utilities. Um, so I'd say to, to kind of kick this thing off, uh, I want to lead with the fact that I will try to give you pricing uh, on everything. Uh, you know where we have it available um, you know take it for what it's worth uh, it, it's not necessarily going to be accurate for your area or uh, even your property you know because every property and every area you know has its own unique set of challenges and pricing uh, but I do want to be fully transparent with you uh, you know so hopefully you'll find that helpful uh, and if you do I just ask in return that you give us a like on the video and consider subscribing all right so we will save the biggest update to the end of the video but right now we'll kick it off by talking about water so what is the situation on water well if you've been following the videos you already know that public utilities in terms of water sewer are not available on the property because uh, it is a rural property so uh, that is not an option for us which is okay so we're looking at well and septic for the property now the well uh, the well pretty much most of the quotes have come in about seven thousand dollars and what are the determining factors well for that the main factor in terms of the cost of digging a well is going to be what are they digging through right are they digging through you know topsoil uh, how much rock uh, sand you know what is the makeup that is you know a huge determining factor because that obviously changes the time a lot and then how deep do they have to drill for us it's going to be 600 feet and the quote is roughly seven thousand dollars is about the average uh, of what we've received for that um, and yeah I'm, I'm happy with that and you can usually look up permits and uh, I did that in the area and can see on a map that most are about 600 feet deep uh, that is a deep well we don't want a shallow well because we don't we don't want it to potentially dry up on us in the future so uh, I want to go ahead and dig you know deep now um, so that's good uh, that's all squared away we're, we're good to go on that the next item and the one that has been a little bit more of a challenge has definitely been the power so again if you guys have followed along then you know this property is fully off-grid right now there's not been power and there's not power as of right now so our goal has been to be off the grid we wanted to stay off grid you know uh, I don't want to be dependent on the government uh, I really you know wanted to have solar um, but we need about 200 amps of power uh, to run a house a barn a camper uh, you know and when you you add all those things in you know you, you get up you get up there pretty quickly and right now uh, it just doesn't look feasible to be able to uh, reasonably uh, bring solar. Uh, we're looking at quotes in the area of $50,000. We want to do it, but that unfortunately at this point is not in the budget. So uh, what is the alternative? Well, the other alternative, uh, we've been quoted about one to $5,000 to bring power. Uh, conventional power whether we go overhead or underground um, you know underground would be at the top end of that underground sorry overground would be at the low end of the budget underground would be at the high end of the budget so uh, 
But the good news is, is that once you get grid power, the cost for the solar system, uh, it looks like it cuts almost in half. And you might be wondering, why is that? And I would say, great question. Well, I am certainly no electrician, but I was told that the reason why that is, is because off-grid, the components have no backup power. So therefore, the batteries are being discharged more frequently, and the constant load in the system is gonna be higher, you know, and it's gonna put more strain on the components. Whereas, if you're grid tied, you, the batteries can stay charged because they're always tied to power. So the components don't need to be as beefy, uh, and you don't need, obviously, you know, as much battery power, which is, uh, you know, the primary cost driver uh, in most solar systems. So the game plan for now is to bring uh, conventional power in and then reassess down the road, you know, when, when the budget will allow to bring in solar on top of that. So not ideal, uh, kind of a bummer, but at the same time, not really fully unexpected. Kind of the, the unspoken part of this uh, is also uh, with components and everything uh, being so heavily delayed and all, uh, we're just not in a position to be able to, uh, you know, to delay uh, building and delay, you know, getting the property going and all. We really want to have power, you know, out there uh, as quick as possible. So, uh, so that's the goal now, and uh, certainly uh, look forward to, uh, you know, to building on later. All right, so the probably for me the one that was the scariest is absolutely the septic system uh, so like the others uh, there's there's no city connections for sewer and back in 2019 someone was interested in the property and had an inspection done and the result of that inspection was a failed perk test so the system that they were leaning towards at that moment was uh, the most expensive uh, and just the, the worst kind of system. It, it's called a, a mound system. And a mound system, if you're not familiar with it, is basically where the septic system is pressurized. They bring in fill material, build a big mound, for example, five, five feet or so is usually how high it goes. And you literally end up with a mound in your yard where the water that goes through the septic system ends up in that mound. It filters through the fill material that you brought in in the mound and goes back into the earth uh, after filtering through the mound. Now guys, that system, uh, the estimate that I received for it was 30 thousand dollars so naturally uh, this was an area that was probably uh, make or break uh, for me on this property turns out when I looked at it the individuals that went out there and did the digging uh, they were told to go into the lowest area of the property so a word of advice there are higher areas and lower areas of a property uh, and you can get topography maps to show you where the high areas and the low areas of a property are um, if you send people to search for septic sites in the lower areas you are very likely going to get the wettest most damp soil that is least able to handle a septic system on your whole property so what did we do? Absolutely the opposite. We sent DHEC, the soil scientists, we sent them into the highest area of the property, asked them to find a site, and it turns out when you send them to the higher area, sometimes it changes everything. And guys, that is exactly what happened. We got a septic permit for a conventional, I said it, conventional gravity fed septic system I could not be more happy about that uh, did not think it was gonna happen and uh, am just blown away uh, that it worked out now 
it's going to be a little bit more expensive than a conventional system because we do have a high water table we're roughly uh, the property is about seven miles from the ocean the Atlantic Ocean and less than three miles from the inland river so we definitely have a high water table in our area um, so we're going to need to bring in a little bit of fill to fill back on top of the septic system once we put it in uh, but the tank itself is probably the quotes are about thirteen hundred dollars the fill material will probably cost a couple thousand dollars and then we've got drain filled pipes and all that and uh, that is probably something that I will tackle myself uh, the quotes that we received were about ten thousand dollars and typically in our area half of the cost is labor and half of the cost is material so uh, you know if I'm do it myself which is what I think is gonna happen uh, we're looking at four five thousand dollars for septic which compared to the 30 is a huge 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 win uh, real happy about it you know just really worked out and uh, you know super thankful for that have you guys met frugal say hi say hi what is it? <laughs> he's chasing me you know little man little man little man Yeah, good boy, good boy, yeah. Thanks so much for coming along on today's journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big like and consider subscribing. And if there's anything that I didn't cover or that you'd like to know about, please do feel free to leave it in the comments below. I love you, and I'll see you next time.